let's start looking at my CD box sets. Hi, 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 everybody, and welcome to the next instalment in my CD collection, or music collection videos. And we're still working our way down that set of shelves in the corner. Uh, those ones. Uh, so we've gone through my... Why does that never work? First four were my signed CDs, which I've videoed. Next three, four, were my Prince and Related Artist CDs. So now we move on to these are CD box sets that are sort of CD sized ones, plus oversized CDs that don't fit in the CD racks behind me. And also, which is what we'll start with, these are my Buffy related CDs. So we have got Buffy the Vampire Slayer Radio Sunnydale, which is tracks from, I think it's a later series only, memory serves. So I think it's mainly bands who have played in the bronze on the series, plus a few other tracks. Uh, this is the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer album, which again is tracks from bands that have played, plus others use as background music and a little bit of soundtrack on there. This is Angel, Live Fast, Die Forever. This is nearly all tracks actually from either soundtrack or performed in the show. This is the cast recording of Once More With Feeling, the musical episode, which is amazing. And then a couple of James Masters who played Spike in Buffy and Angel. This is James Masters' Words and Music, which has got two tracks, uh, an abridged version of Macbeth, and then a concert recording. I say two, I've got a feeling actually this might be DVD rather than CD. Doesn't say on there. I think that's DVD. Uh, as is this, I think. These were both bought via his website. Uh, it's James Masters Live, Halloween 2004 in London. Yeah, I'm pretty certain they are DVDs, thinking about it. I do have his solo CDs, but I think they're in with my normal CDs. Okay, so that's the little oddities that are on that shelf. And now we move on to the, as I say, the box sets and the oversized CDs. So first up is Joss Stone's Water For Your Soul, which was her 2015 album, self-released. Uh, it comes in a, one of these nice book cases, which I do like. And it also came with a little card, and it embedded in this card is seeds, and it encourages you to plant them. I nearly did, but I never got round to it. But given Joss's propensity for certain um, plants, shall we say. I was a bit concerned about growing it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. But this, this is two discs. This one is the album, Water For Your Soul, and then the album's sort of got a reggae feeling away. So the bonus disc is dub versions of the song, Dub For Your Soul. Yeah, I do like Joss Stone a lot. This is T-Rex, the album's, album collection. So this is... I don't know enough about T-Rex to say this is all their albums, but it is eight albums plus two bonus discs that's got sort of the tracks, the singles and what have you that are missing from the albums. So it's T-Rex, Electric Warrior, The Slider, Tanks, Zinc Alloy and the Hidden Riders of Tomorrow, Bolan Zip Gun, Futuristic Dragon and Dandy in the Underworld. Obviously it doesn't include the Tyrannosaurus Rex albums, I know that much. Um, I'll say all eight studio albums, so I'm guessing it is their complete work. Basically, this is nearly as cheap as buying a greatest hit, so I thought, what the hell. Um, I like T-Rex, but I'm a bit underwhelmed by it's on mass, if you like, by them on mass. Um, it all got a bit samey, sorry to say. I say, I, you know, I didn't hate it, but it didn't wow me. This is the recent deluxe version of It's Great When You're Straight Yeah by Black Grape, which is one of the greatest albums ever made. Uh, CD1 is the original album, and then CD2 is B-sides and live tracks and 
remixes and stuff like that. Um, and it's got DVD of various TV performances and video, the original videos. And this came with a signed print, which you will see when I get to my music. Uh, 10 by 8s and things like that. It came in... Fold out. I don't want to go into too much details on these. Uh, and then it's got postcards and the booklet, anyway. Then... Uh, Demon Music Group, is it? Edsel Records through Demon Music Group, yeah. Had a little sale on two or three years ago where their deluxe versions of Belinda Carlisle's albums on CD, they were doing them cheap. So I picked them all up. Some of them took longer to come than others. I mean, there was a delay on some of them. Uh, so this was her first album, Belinda. They were all... Uh, CD1 is the album, CD plus... Uh, some of them, this is only one, one CD and one DVD, but well, most of them. A CD1 is the album plus some bonus tracks, CD2 is the rest of the bonus tracks, which are B-sides, non-album singles, remixes, things like that. Um, and then they've got a DVD, all of them got DVD, with promo videos, interviews, and where appropriate live recordings. So this has got Belinda Live in 1986 on it. Uh, then her big breakthrough album, Heaven on Earth. So this has got a different Belinda Live from 1988, which was released as a VHS. Um, yeah, so this one is Heaven on Earth plus the single versions and this two is the remixes. Then Runaway Horses, which is the same sort of format. Um, this has just got the promo videos and interviews, there's no live stuff on that. Uh, Live Your Life Be Free, again, uh, remixes and a couple of B-sides on disc 2 and just promo videos in the interview. A good booklets on these as well, in depth. Uh, this is Real, which has, disc 2 has got demos and bonus tracks and bonus live tracks as well. And again, just the interview and promo videos. A Woman and a Man which has got acoustic versions as well as the original album on disc one. Uh, B-sides, bonus tracks and live tracks on two, plus remixes. And then just promo videos on the DVD, had no interview on that one. And Voila, which is just one CD, um, which has got the album plus bonus tracks. Uh, the main album is her singing songs in French, classic songs. Um, four of them she's done in English as well as the bonus tracks. But yeah, big fan of Belinda's. Got lots of her stuff. Uh, they keep re basically re-releasing the same stuff in different forms and I'm a bit of a sucker for it, unfortunately. Uh, this was another case of almost as cheap as just getting a greatest hits. I had, I'd already got the ELO, one of ELO's greatest hits, which you'll see when I go through my CD collection, um, and really liked it. So I think this is something like 30 quid. Uh, for like 11 albums. Silly not to. So this is the, all the ELO albums before it became Jeff Lynne's ELO. Uh, so that's No Answer, ELO 2, On My Third Day, El Dorado, Face of Music, New World Record, Out of the Blue, Discovery, Time, Secret Messages and Balance of Power. So it's sort of a clamshell case, I've got booklets, and then they're vinyl replicas. So which I like, although I'm never certain how good they are for the actual CDs. But yeah, I won't go through them all. Stack up nicely. And similar, again, this was on offer. I, Bruce Springsteen was somebody I never really got into. You know, he was very lauded in the late 80s when I was really getting into music um but you know i just sort of really knew dancing in the dark and born in the usa and that was about it so i thought i'll give him a go so this was cheap this is the album collection volume one 73 to 84 so this has got his first one two three four five six seven albums on it 
Greetings from Asbury Park, NJ. The Wild be in the centre of the East Street Shuffle. Born to Run, Darkness of, of the Edge of Town, The River, Nebraska, and Born in the USA. The River's a double album as well, so it's actually eight discs. It's a nice sort of carry replica travel case. And again, it comes with a nice booklet full of information. And they're vinyl, again, they're vinyl replicas. You know, even having a little flap on Greetings from Asbury Park for a postcard and so on and so forth. Um, again, I enjoyed them, there's nothing wrong with them, but I think listening to them en masse, it all got a bit samey. So I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of Springsteen, but I don't dislike him. Um, if the second volume ends up, I know it's been released really on vinyl, I think it was the second volume was released on CD. If it, I'll get a cheap offer, I'll pick it up. But again, it didn't wow me to make him, me suddenly think, oh, he's one of my favourite artists. Anyway, that's it for this video, quite a short one because being box sets are quite bulky. But that's that shelf done with. Um, I think the next one, they're a lot of smaller box sets, so that'll probably take a bit longer. But yes, um, like, subscribe, comment, you can watch past videos on my playlists and thank you for watching, bye!